Yeah, that she gonna <laughs> <both of them>. <laughs> <laughs> Lose responsibility <laughs> Amy just talked herself into getting a ride on this plane. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Again, that the team I had that just from start to finish was absolutely marvelous. That I couldn't have done it without without Matt, Dan, and then we picked up Matt later on. With that, I would like to say a thank you to all of the hundreds, hundreds of River Angels. Some of them were just so dedicated. And look, but where are the girls? Get those signs up. We'd be paddling down the river, and guess what? We'd look over the shore, and we would see these girls in these signs. Ah, Same yeah. ones all the time. You're talking about dedicated support. They Four different times they gave us food support, and many going through the locks. Even going through the locks, we would have, while you paddle in, the water goes down, we paddle out, you know? They would be up there waving those signs. Wave them like you would wave them to us. <laughs> That made my day, seeing them. Thank you girls so much. Thank you for coming all the way down. That At least that's the crew wide, Kyle. Are you wide? Are you wide? Are you wide? Okay. Maybe I'm gonna get the video going. You have to like, get it past your throat. <laughs> no, you don't. Just eat it. Eat it! You ready? You ready? I don't know if I. That's good. I'm a lot better than one Memphis. Y'all been overhyping this. This ain't that good. <laughs> They're good, aren't they, Isaiah? Good it's about 11 o'clock on the day before that Dale finishes the whole Mississippi. Tomorrow night there's going to be a another big party here and we plan on showing, well premiering, the movie trailer which we have been working very hard on. Last night I worked until about 4 a.m. We're working late tonight. I forgot to mention that we're getting, well we're leaving here at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning too. They plan on being on the river by 6 a.m. So we're just not going to sleep. That's the solution to getting a trailer done. <laughs> it is 5.10 a.m. We are on our way to the river. We're getting a late start. Are you guys going to make it? Doubt it. Probably can't make it in time. We just quit. Yeah. Just go home. Just turn around to wake up. Animo, you tell Daddy, no, you have come this far, you've got to set the record. 
No, we just we'll go home, maybe try again next year. <laughs> Start over again. Dale is getting his microphone for the day. Sea salt. Yeah. Sea salt. Sea salt. Get your electrolytes yeah. today. Oh, okay. There you go. Sea salt. <laughs> Let's just all uh, stay positive. Keep your head on a swivel. Communicate. If there's something coming up, decide. Just holler it out. That way everybody can communicate and know where we're at. And uh, other than that, let's have a good, safe paddle. Alright, okay, let's go around and let me get everybody to say their name real quick for the video here. It's sweet. It looks sweeter on my lens because it's like rainbowed because I'm filming a screen. It seems like every day kind of revolves around food when we're out here shooting. You're in the south. <laughs> <laughs> we don't get these thick dogs from Donnie. <laughs> Dana says that's because we're in the south. That's <laughs> a crew on this boat. Maybe we'll have a little rain to help you with the salt. It took an hour. So we're going to have the camera crew set up on the point. Uh-huh. You'll pass the camera crew, pass the rocks. On the point, right side. Yes, sir. The last beach on the end. You'll see us on the right side. Okay, Mr. Dale, we'll see you down there. We're looking out into the Gulf of Mexico right now. So this is the very end of the trip behind us here. This is where Dale and the crew are going to stop and get out on that beach. We just pulled ahead to kind of scout it out, see what we're going to do. So this is it. The crew is right there behind me and we're standing on the last piece of land for the Gulf of Mexico. They're going to paddle past us a little bit, paddle out into the Gulf, and then they'll come on the beach. Tonight I gotta really quickly recognize the film crew. Come up here, film crew. We're all yeah. oh, the film crew. Come on up. Come on up. Okay. We're the film crew. <laughs> Yeah. I hear you all know them. 
they have been a mar done a marvelous job. They're behind the scenes. They don't get a lot of recognition. Thank you so much, all of you guys. <laughs> The trailer is done! And you'll be able to see the movie trailer right there oh, after you. Yeah. One last delay before we roll this trailer. This is also an extra special day. It's my girlfriend Dana Guess. You can't say Dale Sanders without saying he's unbelievable. The guy's amazing. He is an amazing human being. He's magic. He's helped me more than I've helped him. I mean, he does everything that a cardiac patient should do. Dale's kind of one of my heroes. He's pretty inspirational, especially being 87 years old. He doesn't want your help, and he doesn't need your help. He's very independent and doing all these things on his own. Freeman Dale Sanders is my birth name, but I've been called a lot of things. <laughs> One of them is a gray beard adventurer, and I don't like being called that. First time I paddled the Mississippi River, I set the age record, eight years old. Coming up here on June the 14th, I'm gonna be 87 years old, and my plans are to reach the Gulf of Mexico in 87 days. No doubt in my mind that uh, he will accomplish this this year. It would be shocking and have to go to his funeral if he does, because that's the only thing that's going to stop him. If he does more than people ha half his age, he went from rim to rim in the Grand Canyon, the Appalachian Trail, the canoe trip down the Mississippi River. People show up and just want to try to see him or meet him. Hi, Dale. Congratulations on making it to home. You're all, you're like halfway home. I've had trouble with that shoulder since I was a teenager. Pulled it out of joint while I was wrestling a bear in a circus. My father always thought the Mississippi River was a magical place. So to me, from growing up little and hearing his story about the boiling river, Mississippi is a mysterious river to me. sacrifices are the comforts of life. This mud and the mosquitoes and the coldness, it just, it wears on the human body. And then it started raining. Whoa, One day, whoa. The next day, the next day, Get in there, Dan. Pat, are you okay? Good. The swells are too big. And they're turning me sideways. I had a bad night last night, vomiting and diarrhea all night. Okay, who got seasick? Let's chance a lifetime to see this. Do it and take it up. One of these days I'm gonna get old.
Apparently there were about seven planes that came in last night for the party. Everybody's taken off this morning. Well, it has been just a whirlwind of activity for the past week or so. A lot of celebration here at the La Matadora Inn. But everything is wrapped up now. Everyone has gone home. Uh, we still have a couple more interviews to do, a couple more stops for us on our way back home to Montana. Then we have the editing process for this movie. A lot of filmmakers say the work doesn't really begin until you're done filming. So it is going to be an enormous task putting together all this footage. Uh, we estimate that we have about 25 terabytes worth of footage from this whole paddle. So it's going to be a lot of work putting that together. And we have a film festival coming up in January, which we would be headlining at. So we really hope to have the documentary done by then. But that's going to be a really tight deadline for a project this big. So the only way that that's going to happen is if we can afford to spend all of our time editing this documentary between now and December about. So we're asking everyone to contribute to our GoFundMe campaign and um, if we're able to raise that money then we're going to get the film done in time and it will be headlining at this film festival called Lookout Wild Film Festival in Chattanooga, Tennessee and that will be in January.